What's going on? We're going to talk about guns and black people, and we're going to talk about the upcoming changes to this channel. I woke up this morning and I saw someone, and th this has been going an ongoing problem, that someone's like, oh, unsubscribe because I put a gun in the thumbnail. Now, I want you to understand, this channel has helped thousands of, if not hundreds of thousands of people make money. And someone was going to unsubscribe because I posted a gun. And I don't even have my guns. I'm not going <clears> to <throat> bring them out. But I like guns. Guns are cool. I grew up in the house with guns. So there is a disconnect because gun culture is considered to be, quote, a white thing. If you're like in the guns and you're in the shooting, going to the range, that's that's white behavior. And that's one of the hidden things that's coming out of there. Because I'm going to tell you something. If you're going to unsubscribe from this channel because I posted a gun on a thumbnail, you ain't going to make it. You're not. You're too weak. You're too weak. If that offends you, you're just an extremely weak person. And also, what I'm getting ready to do is move all of the how to start a business building content to Savage Finance. And I'm going to tell you why I'm getting ready to do that. Uh, one of the things that has been happening here is the videos that do well lately in 2020 have had nothing to do with building businesses. Nothing at all. I released a video... Uh, I actually, it should have released later today, but for some reason I, I, I wasn't paying attention. So it released at midnight and it, it didn't really do that well. And it was talking about how to get power, how to get power, how to start a business. And I have repeatedly have seen this happen over and over and over again, that the, how to get power, how to build businesses, that stuff doesn't really resonate with the current large audience. It just doesn't. I talk about George Floyd. I talk about Trump doesn't want to cut you another check. I talk about these larger economic issues. They do really, really well. So what's going to happen here for Hustlers Kung Fu, it's going to be kind of like boom, bear, bust. And we're going to be talking about the overall large economy. And for those of you who want the business building content, because I'm getting ready to revamp Savage Finance, which is going really well compared to, because, you know, I'll talk about this. Um, and actually, this channel is starting to get more subscribers and it's starting to turn its course because, you know, I'm in the YouTube mastermind. And one of the, 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 the craziest things is like, is your audience who you think they are? And I had to really, really rethink that. And I thought I had a whole bunch of people who were interested in building businesses. That's not the case. I have some folks who find me to be entertaining, to be funny. And that's the audience that, like the George Floyd video is about to be the 7,000 views. And it's still going. And there are some other videos that I started since I you know, went to this format of me just talking to you guys like this, this is really, really working well. And the channel is starting to grow again. It's starting to make a lot of money and it's starting to pivot. So all of the business building content, and I have to redo many videos because I can't transfer a video from this channel over to Savage Finance because the format would be so wrong. You know, I'm like, Remember when I had the beard, remember the hoodie and, you know, it, it, those videos are just not going to work. So I'm going to leave them where they are and people find them cool if not. But we're going to probably go to four videos a week at Savage Finance. Probably a live stream is going to drop at Savage Finance. And I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing over here, talking about stuff that you guys want to hear about. Because essentially, like, it, it, it is, it was, you know, because it's funny. I released a video at Savage Finance, and you know, the, if you're a YouTuber, you understand what I'm saying. If you're not a YouTuber, you're not going to know. With the new YouTube studio, it has a ranking system, 1 through 10, and 
re, you know, I released a video about holding company game and holding company intent and all this stuff. And it's a one out of 10. So what I feel is the people who want the financial information, the business building content, the money, how to handle money content have moved over to Savage Finance. So they're getting what they want. And what I'm going to do over here is just keep doing the things I'm doing. Because I'm like, you know, last few videos talking about how to get power. It didn't really do that well. Um, and I know why. And th this is one of the reasons I can smile and be happy because I know why. Because, you know, I'm a little hesitant to put those kind of videos on this channel because they don't do well. They just don't do well because the audience that's coming to this channel likes a little excitement, likes a little drama. Now, I will say when I talked about velocity, velocity banking on Savage Finance, that really did well. And, you know, you, you got to understand who your audience is and what your audience wants to do well on YouTube, because if you ignore that, you're going to fail. Your YouTube channel is just not going to do well. And you got to keep up on the trends. You got, you got to become a student of YouTube. You, you really have to. So just to let you know that there's going to be a bigger change where, you know, you, you should subscribe to Savage Finance if you want how to start a business building content. You want the LLC game content. You want all of that stuff. You should go to Savage Finance, because that's where all that stuff's going to drop. I'm getting ready to add some more topics over there. I'm getting ready to do probably, you know, videos that were on this channel, but I got to redo them because I can't do them. I can't just take a video from this channel and move it over there because the setup was just so wrong. The look, the feel, the, you know, it's, it's just wrong. And also I've hired a editing company, which will is editing the videos. And a lot of y'all have re, re, really commented that the, the editing is sweet and y'all like that. So that's good. So I've just hired them. So they're probably going to do 16 videos a month for me. And then I'm going to, um, because, you know, the videos, you know, what's really funny is when I do these videos here, like this, me just talking to you, me just like straight off the cuff, I don't edit them. You know, it's the craziest thing because, you know, uh, one of the little tricks is because the way, because if you want to be a YouTuber, how you shoot your videos determines how hard it will be to edit them. And the... I have a whole different style on these type of videos. Talking hit, I just keep going, I keep rifting, I keep popping, keep talking, and I let it go. So the editing is like nothing on these videos. So I can just do them, shoot them, go run them through Final Cut Pro, make a few cuts, minimum cuts, and upload it and be done with it. And this is a shooting style, this is an editing style that is working really, really well for Hustlers Kung Fu. So this is where I'm going to be. This is what I'm going to be doing. So you should go over to Savage Finance because that's where the business stuff and I'm going to try to be even more entertaining. I'm going to try to put up even more fun videos. I'm going to really get into what this audience wants because see, I'm a business person and if I'm in business and I'm selling stuff that no one wants, I'm going out of business. It's just simple math. It's like give people what they want. So there's going to be some more saucy topics. The, the Candace Owens video did really well. Uh, I'm going to be speaking more about pop culture. That that stuff really does well. And I'm going to, you know, because just an update, because you know, like I said. I could have did this without even telling you guys what to do, but I wanted to let the people who are interested in the business building content where it's going to be, because there's a lot of people here who want that. There's a lot of people who want the holding company information. There's a lot of people that want the LLC information. There's a lot of people that want the money. So that's where it's going to be. 
is going to be here and this channel is going to become hilarious. I'm going to be talking about all kinds of crazy stuff because I'm going to tell you at one point, let's, let's kind of go back. You know, when I started the first disruptive mail that really did well, but men killed it, whiny, bitchy ass little men. And then I was going to go off on that hard because this channel was dying. It was really, really dying. And I didn't know what to do to fix it until I started getting into this YouTube mastermind. And there's all types of things that I did not know that I did not know now that I know. So I'm now I can start fixing the channel. And this is one of the changes. This is a huge, huge change because, you know, I wouldn't even thought of this on my own. I'm not even going to lie about it. That you know, the audience and what the audience wants and what the audience needs and, and these things. I, I've never, it never would even come to me. And this is something else too that's really good. Savage Finance has gotten more subscribers this month than this channel, but this channel has gotten more subscribers the first 10 days of June than all of May. So let, this, this, this is the feedback that I'm getting that the new things I'm doing are working and there will be probably two more YouTube channels. I don't know if I'm gonna let you guys know about them because they're gonna be so different. They're gonna be so crazy. Um, one, I probably will let you know about and uh, another one I, I probably will not, but we're going to start cooking with some gas because Savage Finance is probably gonna make 600 700 bucks which is really really good for a three month old channel just youtube adsense and this channel is probably going to make three thousand this month so and you know one of the reasons that the adsense going up is this channel has a ridiculously high cpm it is crazy i can pull up a video and get four thousand views and make 160 dollars so this is why I am so sensitive to what people want, the content that people consume, the content that people enjoy. And we're just about to have a good time up in here. Cause you know, I'm like, I will be posting more thumbnails with guns. I like guns and you know, it, 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 it's, it, it's the craziest thing. How many black folks are anti-gun? One of the most oppressed groups of people on the planet is against the, the tools of liberation. It, 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 it's the craziest thing, but I will be doing, you know, if you want to unsubscribe, go right ahead. Cause I, I, I will be posting more gun content, talking about gun content, talking about power economics and all that other stuff. Because if you are so weak that you're going to unsubscribe from a channel because you got offended and the term was goofy. See, this is something that black folks do. If it is not steeped in being black, whatever that may be to the person, then it's termed goofy. Remember when Will Smith was dating, I think, I forget who she was. It was Saw the Pepper. I forget who she was. And she actually cut Will Smith lo loose because she thought he was goofy. This right here is that, that, that term goofy is one of the biggest reasons that the black community is so behind. Oh, that's goofy. It's anti-black and we ain't going to do that. We're going to keep it real. We're going to keep it real poor. We're going to keep it real assetless. That's what we're going to do. And, you know, I, I was just sitting there and I just deleted the comment and um, it, it's funny because once again, let's let's talk about that. I posted a video that was talking about power. Guns represent power. So the connect was there. And some people got offended. It's like, I'm going to unsubscribe. All right, player, do what you got to do. I don't care. I will. For every one of you that leave, a hundred more show back up. So, but it, it, it is the craziest things. But that's what's happening, and you know you should go to Savage Finance. You should pick up on that because we, we got a lot of stuff that's about to drop, that's about to pop, 
and I'm gonna, you know, because like I said, I'm moving all of that stuff over to Savage Finance. I'm not gonna do any more of those type of videos on this channel because they just don't perform. You know, I'll get like a thousand views, 1500 views, and it will just die. So there's a hardcore audience of about 2,000, well, actually part of that is YouTube. Because see, this is what happens when you put up a video and it's underperforming. If YouTube gets a signal that this video is underperforming, YouTube will show it to less people. If YouTube gets a signal that this video is performing, YouTube will show it to more people. So this is why I'm making the change because the, the business videos just don't work on this channel anymore. They just don't. But they work like a mofo on Savage Finance. I mean, like I dropped this video on Savage Finance and this was what's funny, my editors was slow so I didn't get to drop the video of Savage Finance like at 6 a.m. like I wanted to. I literally dropped it just a little while ago and it's already got like 200, 300 views just like that. So that's telling me because you, you got to, if you're going to be doing YouTube, you've got to be very, very aware of what your audience likes and what your audience doesn't like. And the overwhelmed audience here at Hustlers Kung Fu does not like business building content. They like the drama. They like when I talk smack. They like when, you know, frequently I would get people like, hey, what's your view on this? And it would be nothing to do with building a business. It would be nothing at all. And it, it was crazy how often that happened, but now I, I understand why. Because that's what the audience wants. That's what we're gonna be talking about. That's what we're gonna be getting up onto because 2020, the year of the murder hornet, is going to be a really, really good year for me and YouTube because I've learned so much. I'm learning so much. We've got a meeting today. We're going to be talking about stuff, and I'm learning some advanced YouTube tactics, and they work. They seriously work. So what I want you guys to do, for those of you who want the business building content, I want you guys to go to Savage Finance. Go ahead and get that. Go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell notification, and I will be doing that. And for those of you who want the saucy, savory, over-the-top, crazy YouTube content, sit back. It's coming. I'm going to be doing, because, I'm, you know, essentially, you have to sell what people are buying, because th this is a quick little lesson. If you build a crappy website, have a crappy offer, and you are kind of like not really doing that well with your business in terms of getting up and pushing it, and you do your business in a vertical of what people are buying, you will do better than someone who has an amazing website, who has amazing products, that they're selling stuff that people don't want. It's the craziest thing. I've seen this over and over and over and over again. You know, and this is why you should not be afraid of a crowded market, because if the market is crowded, that's where people are buying. And that's going to be my last how to business tip on this channel, because I'm about to unleash over at Savage Finance because, you know, this is giving me because, like I said, I woke up this morning and I saw that and I was like, you know what? We're not doing any more business content over here. We're just going to do, you know, talk about because it's about to get saucy because we you know yesterday Georgia we had the elections and you know we're it's going to be so much to talk about in terms of the elections politics uh you know Sam Yang was still on the ballot for Georgia and I thought he had dropped out it was crazy but there, there's going to be a lot to talk about it's going to be a lot to slice up there's going to be a lot to jump into and once, you know, just for my hardcore business building people, go to Savage Finance and see the, the, what I liked about Savage Finance is I started off that channel with the proper content, the proper concept. It was about making money, managing money. And, you know, it's, it's really, really working well. And I'm very excited because I, I think the channel is going to start really popping in about another month or so. Because, you know, this month is looking pretty strong. The growth is pretty strong. And, yeah, you know, it's going to be fun. We're going to have a lot of fun.
Because if you notice something that I stopped doing the live streams, and I know a lot of you missed the live streams. Um, here, here's why I stopped the live streams. YouTube has an algorithm for live streams. It has an algorithm for regular videos. It has an algorithm for your community posts. It has an algorithm for your thumbnail. Yes, YouTube has an algorithm for your thumbnail and it treats each one of these things very differently. I saw this girl who only had like 20,000 subscribers, but every time she would do a live stream, she would get 20 to 50,000 views. And then I saw Pat Flynn, check out Pat Flynn's channels. He's got like 200 some thousand subscribers, but when he does a live stream, he don't really get that many people. It is crazy how this YouTube algorithm will treat your channel. Uh, Donovan Sharp, you know, for the longest, his live streams were not really doing that well. Then all of a sudden they start popping. They really start, but Jonathan, he really does a good job of marketing his show across many different channels. And I think that's one of the reasons his live stream started jumping. But yeah, and, that, and this is one of the reasons that some people only do live streams, which could damage your channel. If you only do live streams, you don't do regular videos. And this is one of the reasons that I stopped doing so many live streams, because I probably will do one or two a week or something like that, because what it does to your channel from an algorithmic standpoint can be really, really damning. Because I was doing these live streams and sometimes, you know, the live streams would like really pop, but most of the time they would just simply die. And what's happened now is my videos I've got videos I did mid-March that are still getting views. So this is growing the volume of the channel and it's growing the revenue and everything else. So that's one of the reasons because I'm not going to be doing multiple live streams a week anymore because I like this better because, you know, live streaming, you have to be up. You have to push out. You have to be excited. You have to perform. Live streams can be really hard if, to do correctly. So that's one of the reasons that I'm going to cut them back to once or twice a week. Probably Sunday and Thursday is what I'm thinking is uh, I'm going to do them. That's what I'm thinking. Don't hold me to that. But definitely Sunday. Sunday, because Sundays, you know, everyone's home, everyone's off, and I can get a good audience early in the day. And that's when we will be popping the live streams. So with that, be sure to subscribe to Savage Finance. Be sure to go below, get 30 days to 2,500. Be sure to get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success. And if you're in a position, get the money management course because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff because I'm getting ready to reshuffle some stuff. So with that, we'll see you in the next video and go below and check out this other stuff.